All right, guys, I'm here with Dylan Armbrust, the owner here at Armbrust Pro Gym in Denver, Colorado. Best gym I've ever trained at by far. Uh, Dylan is actually a trainer here. There's a bunch of awesome guys around, but uh, he's the mastermind behind all this. And I love it, man. I appreciate it a lot. Thanks, man. Thanks yeah, for having me. For sure. So the first question I wanted to ask was, what do you think is the best case scenario as far as putting on mass? That's what we're doing here in this program that I'm, that I'm working on. And I kind of want to get a, uh, an idea for the viewers of as far as food, cardio, reps and sets, right. things like that. Yeah. Well, you know, mass, the word mass is a loose term because you see a lot of guys that are massive and, you know, like a power lifter and, you know, they, they don't really give a shit with you. Yeah, they're I just think like, they do to a point they, they just have a different type of mass. They kind of eat what they want and they just live heavy weights. And they're strong. They're strong. You know, you can build muscle for strength or you can build muscle for basically bodybuilding, which yeah. is actually a more healthy way to do it because when you're building muscle as bodybuilding, you're feeding, you know, good wholesome nutrients to get lean. Exactly. That's bodybuilding, I mean, not bodybuilding, but powerlifting, exactly. you're basically eating whatever. Yeah, you try and eat as much as you can. So, you know, that's why you're not getting really the nice muscle yeah. definition and stuff like that. But, you know, to, to build like a bodybuilding, like I know, you gotta have it all. You, you have to have your food, yep. you have to have your sleep, you have to have your water, and you have to have, you know, just solid, good quality training. Yep. And if you put them all together, then you're gonna go a lot further, a lot faster. If you're missing any one of those equations, it's gonna, it's gonna save you. Exactly that. Cool. So, so that kind of leads me to my next thing, which was, how do you incorporate the things you've learned in bodybuilding, you know, the discipline and the hard work and the sacrifice and just dedication to, you know, one thing for years and years? How'd you take that and put it into your business? And, and how'd you make it grow? Well, I wouldn't know how to make my business grow if I didn't learn all those qualities of bodybuilding. For yeah. So I learned to work hard. You know, I, I learned that nothing happened to me. I learned that I need to be persistent. You know, it's gonna take years. So. When I started my business, you know, I did have just pure passion to begin with, but you know, I just just building it every year, working hard every day, you know, it's built into what it is. So I used all of those bodybuilding principles to build my business, so it, it worked out great for me. Awesome, man. Yeah. Cool. The last thing I wanted to ask you here real quick was, do you think the vision, you know, Arnold always talked about the he always saw himself the way he wanted to look. And he believed that if he could put that in his mind enough that his brain would figure out a way to get there. You know, he was training three hours in the morning, three hours a night. Now people say, that's overtraining. Um, how do you believe that the vision of what you want, do you think that's equally as important as the work you put in the vision, itself? The vision is everything, you know, because anything you do in life, the body is gonna follow the mind always. So Arnold put it perfectly to tell you the truth. Yeah. And Arnold trained his ass off. And I don't think anybody in their right mind is going to tell Arnold he overtrained yeah. <laughs> or any of that crap. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, as long as you're doing, you know, doing things properly, your nutrition and, and your training technique, uh, you know, you, you can train as much as you want, listen to yeah. your body. And, and Arnold listened to his body. He yeah. was in touch with his body. He, he had that mastermind plan in his head, which was what he looked like. And that's why he's so successful. So, you know, listen to Arnold and, and those haters that are naysaying, don't listen to them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There is so, yeah. no such thing as overtraining, you know, and, and I feel like if you sleep enough, if you eat enough, if you train hard enough, you recover enough, uh, you take the right supplements, you, obviously food is number one yeah. for recovery. And yes. I feel like if you have all those things, you can train for two hours, you can train for three hours and not hit that wall. Yeah. And just remember, there's no number one. They're all number one. Yeah, but 100%. You, you just learn to, to, to sort them right in life. You know, you make sure you don't miss. That they're all equally as important if you want to make it to the top. Cool, man. Appreciate it. So you also have your own website as well, right? That's right. You can go to armbrusttraining.com and uh, there's a lot to learn about training. We post videos every week. Go there, check it out, and uh, you know, awesome. Yeah. And I just saw you out there doing that. That link, by the way, guys, will be in the description down below. You can go check that out. He's the real deal. He trains some of the very best in the world. And, uh, yeah, man, that's, I mean, the, the internet is the future. And I like it, man. Cool. Thanks for your time, Dan. Yeah, I appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it. Have a good one. See ya.